So I'm actually doing some repairs on the cruiser, trying to find a a noise, a bearing noise or something. But while I had it up on jack stands, I thought it would be neat to show off what differential locks are in a practical sense. Okay. There's low range first gear. Huh. Not moving. Rears stopped. Single front, getting all the drive. Now, let's do this. Yeah, there it is. Even with the parking brake still on, you can see one rear, one front. So let me illustrate what that means. Even though I'm in four wheel drive, I can still stop this tire, no sweat. Now that tire is spinning and that tire is spinning. And there'll always be two, but not necessarily the ones you need. Okay. Now the rear differential lock is in, in addition to the center differential lock. And you'll see that the wheels, this wheel's still spinning faster than that one, and that's because it's getting twice the rotational speed because this one's stopped. But that wheel's spinning, and I cannot stop this wheel. Yep. All right. See that? Now they're perfectly synchronized. All four wheels receiving the exact same speed, not torque, speed. This means is that there's no longer a speed bias in the differentials because there are effectively no more differentials. I have taken differentials out of the equation. This would be like a Lego car, just straight axles. Power straight to the wheels, for good or bad. So that's one of the big misconceptions about locking differentials is that they split power evenly. They don't. They split speed evenly, and they split torque infinitely. And the power that's a result of that is always balanced left to right, but more torque and rotation means more power. So if you're putting down twice as much torque to one wheel than the other and they're spinning the same rate, more power. All right, well, now to go to work. <laughs>